Hi everyone, I'm Annalisa. If you're new here, I'm so happy you've joined me. If you are returning, welcome back. Today I am doing a very bright bloom. I wanted to make sure that it was really vibrant and so I find that adding gold in with my reds, um, it just makes them deepen. And so uh, Big Apple Red is really bright and bold. And um, Fire and Ice is a um, iridescent. So it's a red iridescent that reflects and, in the light. And it's pretty amazing. And poinsettia is on a little bit darker. So we're giving a multi-dimensional red tone in this bloom. Next, I'm adding Mother of Pearl which is white and it just really adds to the shimmer and on a black pillow you really want to amp up your colors so between the gold on the bottom and the mother of pearl on the top it just really made my reds pop as normal i'm using my black or er, my lamp black uh, cell activator and I am blowing it out with the orange world's smallest blower. Um, if you're interested, I added a link to the one I use in the description. Um, I will warn there is a green one that's out there. It's battery operated. Um, I was told that it doesn't work as well because it's battery operated and not consistent. But I do not have any personal experience with it. I'm just passing along what I heard. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for your cells to develop. If it takes too long, sometimes you need to get in there with a straw and start getting air onto your cell activator to bring up the colors from below. I really like using a curved straw for this. I feel like it, I don't know why, there's something about a curved straw. That one actually was melted in the dishwasher, and so I couldn't use it to drink out of, but it worked perfectly for this. Next, I'm going in with my embossing tools. These tools are literally, hands down, the most amazing things when it comes to wrecking your blooms. I highly recommend them. However, you can also use uh, kebab skewers or the ends of paintbrushes, anything with a point. But like I said, I prefer embossing tools. To help you, I have added a link in the description that is a inexpensive set that looks very similar to mine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know if you like it where I do a cut scene to the end without a bunch of spinning. If there is, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you are not already. Thank you. Have a great day.